Last year, while on holiday, I was swimming in the sea and I encountered a plastic bag just like this. At first glance, I thought it was a large jellyfish and I was really quite frightened. But then when I realized it was a plastic bag, I got really angry because it simply should not have been there. Now, when I came back to the UK, I started to research about plastic in our oceans and I am truly devastated by what I've found. Every year, we dump 8 million tonnes of plastic waste into our oceans and seas worldwide. This is equivalent to one garbage truck laden with plastic being dumped into the sea every minute. That's 60 garbage trucks per hour, 1,440 garbage trucks per day, every day. If you prefer aeroplanes, that's equivalent to 18,000 Boeing 747s laden with plastic and that cargo being dumped into the sea every year. Now, the solution to the plastic problem is going to require everyone across the world to work together. The solutions are going to have to be multifaceted and multi-layered. For example, we could require every country in the world to have a plastic production quota, just like we have carbon emission quotas. In 2017, the UK government declared that by 2042, we will work to eliminate unnecessary plastic packaging. That's a great goal. I support it. But I'm too worried about the date. Because 2042 is 25 years away, and it's too late. By 2050, we'll have more plastic than fish in our oceans by weight. Plastic is in our food chain, and it's a threat to our humanity and to the future of us. So I would like a much nearer term goal, say 2030. And I'd like something more concrete. I would like to work to see if the UK can become plastic neutral by 2030. And by plastic neutral, I mean recycling as much plastic as we consume. So if we look at the data, in 2014, we used or consumed 2.2 million tonnes of plastic packaging waste. We recycled 38% of that. And that's great. It's over a third. And actually, we've improved in 2015 and 2016. We improved by 5% each year. So we're definitely on the right track. But recycling is not the total solution. We also have to look at how much plastic we consume. Now, at this point, I have to um, make a confession. I used to be a marketeer. So I studied marketing at university and I worked for a national supermarket in their marketing department. I also worked for over a decade for a global food manufacturer. Now what that learning and that work experience has shown me is how much we as consumers are monitored by these large companies. They monitor our needs, our wants, our desires, and they closely analyze our buying patterns. Now, this could actually be very powerful for us as consumers if we choose to use it. So armed with this knowledge, I've decided to take action personally, and I've decided to look at the products that I use in my house, and I'm going to go naked. Yep, I'm going to go naked with my products, and I'm not going to buy any products that include plastic in them or in their packaging. So here's some examples of the changes that I've made over the last three months. I've changed my shower gel from this to a naked bar of soap. I've changed my shampoo from this to a naked shampoo bar. Now, this is an interesting product because I didn't even know this existed until three months ago. It's a lovely product made with natural ingredients, produced in the UK, in Poole in Dorset, and distributed via over a chain of 100 shops. It's really good. There's lots of different types for different hair types. And interestingly, it costs the same as this. Yet, yet this lasts twice as long. So I'm saving money, as well as saving the environment. 
Now, encouraged by changing my shampoo, I've also changed my conditioner from this to this naked bar of conditioner. And I've changed my deodorant from this to a naked bar of deodorant. These changes have been very simple to make. And just through these four changes, I've reduced approximately 15 tubes and bottles of plastic from going to recycling from my house over the next 12 months. However, I'm not just interested in packaging. I'm also interested in the products themselves. Take the simple plastic toothbrush. 2.7 billion plastic toothbrushes are produced worldwide each year. They take hundreds of years to decompose in our landfill and in our oceans. But luckily, we have an alternative. The alternative is a bamboo toothbrush. It's light, it's strong, and it decomposes much quicker in landfill. You can put it, you can throw it away with your household waste, or you can put it on your own compost heap. I bought this in a UK supermarket before Christmas. So this proves that our supermarkets will provide much more eco-friendly products if we encourage them to do so. This version has nylon bristles, but you can get a fully compostable version as well. Now, looking at products in my kitchen, one of the most widely used products is cling film. We all use it. But I found a solution to this. I found these wonderful pieces of cloth that are soaked in beeswax. Beeswax wraps. Now, beeswax has antibacterial properties, so it's good for wrapping around your food. They come in different sizes. I use them every day. Once you've used them, you wash them, hang them up to dry, and then reuse them the next day. You can use them for up to a year. And finally, I'm looking back to what I used to use in the past in order to make a better future. For decades, I've been using these um, paper tissues wrapped in plastic and put together into multi-packs of 10 and again wrapped in plastic. I must have used thousands of these tissues. But I've thought back to what I used to use before this existed. And it was a simple cotton handkerchief. So I'm using cotton handkerchiefs again. And the benefit of these is that cotton is so wonderfully soft on my skin. Now, I know that I'm on a long journey. Just in these three months, I've made at least 20 changes in, in the products that I use. But if we were to all work together, we could make a massive change. So I would like you to go naked too with your products and look at substituting plastic products for more eco-friendly products. If we all work together, then we can make a difference. For example, if we were to reduce the plastic we consume by just 1% a year, then by 2030, over 12 years, we'll have reduced the amount we consume down to 1.8 million tonnes of plastic packaging. And if we continue to do the good work on recycling and improve our recycling year on year by 5% per year, then by 2030, we will have balanced this picture and we can truly be plastic neutral for the UK by 2030. And when we achieve this target, that will be a massive step in the direction for resolving the global solution of plastic pollution in our oceans. Thank you.